Bang! <laughs> guys so some of you peeps have been asking us how we make our videos or whatever so i'm gonna just show you how i make it and also the program i use to edit my videos what i use is called filmora this one's around 40 40 dollars i'm not sure of the exact price i will put the link to the program I use down in the description so you, you guys can go check that out so you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I edit a simple drawing video you know some of you asked how to set up the drawing video and the recording and stuff so I'm gonna you know hit two birds with one stone so what I have is my video the video part of this you can see the first part of the video apparently took 30 minutes to draw so that's pretty typical for me and I'm just filming on my phone because my normal camera ran out of space on uh, memory so yeah make sure you have good memory because you can be you know filming for like half hour when you're not actually filming so yeah, make sure of that, key tip. And so yeah, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to drag my video down here. And I'm gonna double click it. Or just hit, hit the edit button or Alt E. Oh, I didn't know that happened. And so I'm just going to rotate it. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty basic what I'm what I'm just did there. So it gives the illusion that the camera is in front of me, but the actual camera is actually behind me. So I'll show you a video of that right now. So this is the setup I use. It's a basic tripod. The tripod has an attachment or whatever, so you can attach your phone as well. Also, you can attach a camera that runs out of memory really fast. That's fun. Piece of paper. I mean, could use a notebook, but whatever. And a basic this lamp. That's what I use for lighting, so yeah. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to speed it up to its max. I really, the one thing I hate about this program is that you can't speed it up any more than five X, five times or whatever, so. Yeah, that's that's a bit annoying. But you can do that a little more because it would save a ton, a ton of time. And then what you're gonna go is to the audio and you're gonna turn that down so no one can hear you mumbling on to yourself sadly because I do talk a lot to myself when I'm doing these driving videos yes it's a confession deal with it so what I'm doing is I'm just cropping it it's pretty nice um, I need to crop it a little more because you really want the whole focus to be on that drawing you don't want everything else so yeah that looks nice and just drag your second part um, I stopped the camera because I walked away to do something and I walked away for a while so yeah you guys don't know that do you nope. so I'm just doing the exact same thing when I did the other one turning the volume down rotating it speeding up and cropping it. Now I know this may look like, wow, this is really complicating, but it's really not. It's pretty basic. And if you don't own a computer and you just have a phone, there is a great program you can use for your phone. It was actually. <laughs> my first program that we used for video making and it was pretty well actually it's, I'll put the link in the description also I think it was called Viva Video or something so yeah it's free too which is good alright so now that I am finished with all that what I'm gonna do is 
going to export it because it needs to be faster because it's at 12 minutes and no one or 13 whatever no one's gonna watch um so now nah, i'm not gonna watch a drawing video for 13 minutes so i want to speed it up a bit so i'm gonna export it name it like test or something and just choose your file and export okay so after ages of waiting for the video to export it's been like 15 minutes uh what you're going to do is you're gonna double click it and you're going to speed it up again because now the video is like four minutes and it's just more appealing or whatever so now as you sped it up again you're just going to go through the parts where you're sitting at the camera or where you've walked away and just cut that out of the video no one needs to see that so like there I'm just gonna right click and delete that and now all you guys see is me drawing now and I just started drawing so it just makes a heck of a big difference just yeah, just do it. So, I'm gonna go through and just delete all the parts where you're walking away. So while I'm just, you know, cutting out some of the video, I wanted to say that this Saturday we did another live stream. Sorry we didn't do one this week. We were just kind of tired and um, I put a announcement in or something I said in our Google Plus account. So be sure to follow us on that so you like get alerts or whatever when we post something on there. But we'll do it this Saturday, same time as we always do, five o'clock PM uh Eastern time or whatever. So yeah, be sure to join us on that or whatever. And if you guys didn't already know, because I'm pretty sure you didn't, but this is my second time drawing this because the first time it didn't work out so well. Stupid camera had his memory was full, so I've been drawing with pretty memory full. And that, was, that was also fun. It's always fun when you figure that out when you're almost done drawing and you're like, yay, and great. So ended up drawing the rest on my phone. And the phone camera actually liked it, so I may stick to that. Okay, so now that I'm done, you know, chopping it up and stuff, I'm gonna just add my intro, which is in this folder up here. So I'm just gonna drag that down. And what I like to do is I like to pick a transition and then I like to pick fade, the fade transition or whatever. So it's like that. So I'm just gonna drag it there, make it kind of smaller. So we can watch it. It fades into the drawing. It just, it looks nice in my opinion. So. Yeah, you don't have to do that, but it's just, it's nicer. And then what to do is, I now pick my music. I just downloaded some music off of YouTube. Let me get it real quick. So I picked this song, La Happy Bomb by, um, by Dude, I'll put the link of the music that I used in this video down below in the description like I'm doing with everything so I like to drag it out a little bit just a little bit so now you can see I'm gonna do this so then the music starts or whatever it starts off quite very quiet at first But I like this song or whatever, so. Then, what I do is I 
my mom was like, oh, you needed to leave the drawing on a little longer or whatever at the end. So, pro tip, um, stop it about here. You don't want to stop it all the way at the end. So you want to split it, delete it, and then I already have the thumbnail that I used for the video conveniently right here. <laughs> So, I just drag that there, and what I do is, I uh, add a transition, the fade transition again. So watch that. It looks, it looks pretty nice, I mean, the drawing anyway. And then what I do after that is I click media, then sample color black is pretty much what I use every time. And then I go into my text and click on the text that I always use. I just like this one just because I do so deal with it. I don't like it. And then I do another transition pretty much every time. Change something I like to add the transition. It just it looks fancy, you know. It gives your video an extra quality to it. So yeah. And then what I do is I just change the text. So you say like made uh, by. Purple pants. And then I just change the font to this one because I like this one. Change this one to see. Thanks for watching. And just center it and then drag it over. Click on the little line thingy. Don't. There we go. Drag that to make that look a little bigger. And center that. Make this a little bigger. You know, play with it. You know, have, have fun with it. Okay. See you. Let's just watch that real quick. Like, how perfect could that music get? Seriously. Like, for reals. And now you just cut the music there because you don't want that extra stress space. And I'm just going to add my outro. I made a new outro, so I may use that. Yeah, this looks uh, nice. Just because so if you guys want to see it, uh you know a tutorial on how we make our outro then go ahead and suggest that in the comments below if you don't want to see that then well don't suggest that in the comments below it's pretty pretty simple so yeah i got an outro there and i use you guys should get the hang of now i like to add transitions pretty much everywhere it's just me then I add my music that I use for my outro. So we'll go right here. And so yeah, um, that's pretty much how you edit a video. I'm um, just gonna take some random video. I mean, you want to take your previous video, but um, where is it? I don't know where the previous video is. But so yeah, what you do is you just take a video and you drag it down into the this this button up here down here. And then you could crop it to fit the outro screen. So yeah, it's quite handy. So yeah, um, it's pretty much how you edit a video. It's pretty simple. Make sure to crop this part, obviously. Thank you guys for watching this video. 
please like up this video and subscribe if you feel like you want to and support us. I'd be really appreciate it. I I really appreciate that. You know, we we all love our subscribers. See so, you, yeah. And don't forget, we are going to be doing a live stream on Saturday, five o'clock Eastern time. So make sure to come by and you know just pop in and say hello. I think we're gonna be playing Roblox. So yeah. And I hope this tutorial helped you guys because it should. So bye bye.